Passing in no-gi is really tough. Compared to the gi, where you have all these great grips, no-gi is really slippery with all the sweat, among other things. <laughs> <laughs> the pace, the grips, and techniques can be a little bit hard to get used to. So in today's video, I will give a quick rundown of my approach to passing a nogi, including how I set up my outside passes, as well as how to react to your opponent's movements. Start your matches by going to the side, control the knee and the hip, force your partner down, and as far as my leg placement, I'm up on my toes, so I'm driving forward, and then from here, I'm trying to keep this hip shielded so he can't cross over with his leg. So I'm blocking that. The easiest thing I can do is just open up his hip. And now my knee's gonna replace that space. So we call this book ending. You know, in the book it has the binding. I'm gonna have my knee right towards his hip, other hand on the other side of the hip, and then I just kind of collapse into that space. So if he tries to move, I can move with them. And then if you guys wanna add more details to this, you know, a lot of times I'll get into my shin trap passing. I can bring my near side leg and use that to control his shin. And from here, I'm trying to get his ankle glued to his hamstring. And now it's kind of hard to move. If he wants to shrimp out, there's not really much he can do. It's just really annoying. That's something I want you guys to get, start getting used to. Be really annoying on top. Always make the guy work. Make him hold your weight. If he goes to push, use that to get into that pass. If I get here and I see he's kind of loose with his hip, like he's not really fighting me, sometimes I'll just go straight over, come down. From here, I can also start getting to the leg stomp. Is I can go knee cut. I can also switch my hip. One big thing he might try to do is shove me and push me across. So a lot of times I can time that to go over. If I'm blocking properly, it's gonna give me time to react. So if he tries to go over, I switch my hands and look, my head's on the outside of his leg. If I need to push that down, cross over. If he's trying to come under like a knee shield, a lot of times I can grab that, pull it across my hip and do a similar step. So that's a little bit more advanced, but if you guys can just get your partner off the center line, it's gonna just make it a lot easier. You're doing the shin trap, you're doing the leg stomp. Even if you don't have any good passes, just doing this is gonna make the guy start to open up and start creating opportunities for you, okay? 